Good morning. Welcome to episode 23 of the Preferred Experience podcast. I'm here with Andrew Lucero today, our Spartan coach and CrossFit coach or CrossFit Preferred. And we're going to do a little uh, episode on, we're calling it Train for the Unknown. And we figure that this is the time to train for that. Yeah, right. um, with the closures that we found out five hours before closing last night. Um, that was a, a fun, fun five hours. It was a fun night. Um, can't say I slept great, but yeah, we, right. we made it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we're, we're doing it. We're, we're just going through a time of unknown right now. Um, we are currently discussing with a couple of attorneys, figuring out if there's a way to stay open and see if we can fall under some different criteria being a very small gym um it's it's strange being grouped in with some of the bigger globo gyms in our area um you know we've we've kept our classes small we've we really worked on keeping things clean and um and and really trying to make it work right but um right. you know we don't know how, how it's all going to work out but we know it's going to look different than last time and we're going to have more park workouts. We're going to have those offered every day starting tomorrow. Um, we're going to start with that. So at the very least, we'll have those. And then um, we're also going to have some Spartan workouts. We're still going to have Absolutely. them at the same time. Yep. Um, yep. I think we're planning on the park behind Walgreens. Yeah, so um, we're, we're having discussions with our Spartan group, uh, but we're floating some ideas either uh, – Having having our Spartan SGX class at at the hill behind the Walgreens, or possibly at a different park, possibly at a track, uh, yeah. you know, like we do for our Thursday morning track workouts. Yeah, we'll still but, have our track workouts, but, but we'll 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 keep everybody in the loop for sure mm -hmm. um, on specific locations, just so because the important thing is, no matter where we train, we're still we're still a community. We're still we're still doing this together. We're still getting fit together and building that camaraderie that's going to, you know, carry us forward into, um, into the future with whatever lies ahead yeah. next. So we don't know. We could, we hope to, you know, with, with, we have the, uh, owner of mountainside that's put up a lawsuit against the state of Arizona. Um, we're hoping that that will help, um, all the gyms be able to reopen. Um, really cool what he's doing. So we're excited about that. And uh, we're, we're discussing with some different attorneys on, on what we can do too. Mm -hmm. um, but regardless, we got to keep moving forward. So we, we you know, a time lot doesn't of, stop. No, it doesn't. And last time, it seemed like a lot of people just took it as a break. And it's not a time to take a break. It's a time to keep moving forward. Right. And um, our fitness doesn't have to stop moving forward. We know it helps us physically. It helps us mentally. Definitely. And, um, you know, we got, we have a lot of different things we can do. And I promise you, you're going to get a great workout no matter what we're doing. We're not, we're not going to make it, uh, real easy. So prepare yourself <laughs> and, um, uh, we want people that they want to get stronger. So let's, absolutely. let's keep working towards that. So <clears throat> we're also going to share some, some different races that are coming up with Spartan. Mm -hmm. So. Andrew, why, why don't you share the races that are coming up? I, we wrote down. Sure. Yeah. Emails. So, uh, so it was, it was about a week ago, or I don't even know if it was that long ago, that uh, the announcement came from uh, Spartan that they're they have races that are uh, that they're planning on on doing starting in the next couple months. So at the end of August, um, they have a trifecta weekend in utah with uh races close by following later in the year so they have uh, uh races that you know in lake tahoe at the end of september they have a few california races in october so uh the big bear race uh will be beginning of october the uh the socal race in lebec uh some of a, a lot of our spartan group went to it last year but they're they're planning on holding that again at the end of October. Man, that's a good race. So that was a um, tough one. So a lot, lots of opportunities to, uh, you know, to have something to prepare for. So you know, and and it's a few months away, especially 
you know, if we're talking like August, September, October, but you know, what, what a better time to start preparing mm-hmm. for, for races like that, especially since we know that a lot, you know, Spartan races, we know that, uh, you know, it's a race. So you are doing a lot of running, you're doing a lot of cardiovascular activities. So what a great way to prepare for that by doing things cardio wise that are going to help you build that aerobic base that you need to be successful in, you know, preparing for these races that are coming up. Mm-hmm. So, yep. 85 to 90% of the Spartan race involves running. So this is a time to build up that base. Mm-hmm. I know for me, um, Tirsa and I both signed up for a race that's not until February in Moab, but oh, we're man. already like, I, I signed up for a 55K, Tirsa signed up for a 33K. Nice. So nice. both of them are super long and we got to build a base. So yeah. we're really focusing more on that lower heart rate, base building type run, mm-hmm. conversation pace. Right. And, um, it, and, and really working towards that right now. Right. Yeah. And especially like in the context of Spartan. So like if like a trifecta is in your plans, so that means within a calendar year that you run what's called a sprint, a super and a beast, which are, which commemorate different distance races. Uh, the beast is your longer distance race. That's, you know, the equivalent of running a half marathon with, obstacles all spread throughout the race so it's a great time that half marathon i mean that's still 13 miles of running you know depending on where you do it there elevation gain there's you know climbing hills climb you know whatever you know wherever you're doing that race you you're going to be at a low intensity steady state for an extended period of time so it's you know training for something like that you need you need to put in the time to you know for those lower intensity steady state runs so that if that's something that's on your plans that you can be prepared for it yep for sure what other things do you think we could train right now so does it really change like what we train train for right now it honestly it doesn't change a whole lot you know Mm -hmm. our like the the our group, our Spartan SGX group, a lot of them know, you know, we we do a lot of things that, you know, it's carrying odd objects, it's developing grip strengths, you know, so hanging from pull-up bars or doing, you know, heavy loaded farmer's carries, throwing odd objects on your back and doing carries with buckets, with sandbags, with, you know, different things so that you're comfortable when you see those elements or those obstacles in a race, it doesn't it's it doesn't just throw you for a loop. You're you've been doing those things here, and you can be creative doing similar things at home. Throwing you know throwing weights in backpacks, or you know using jugs, or using whatever equipment that you have access to at home, and being creative with how you know how you lift it, how you hold it, how far that you take it when you uh, you know do some kind of implement ob- object like weighted carry so it's uh it doesn't change a whole lot it's just we may have to get a little bit more creative with how we execute it but mm-hmm. the the, the train the training is still the same yep what about burpees i know you yeah. i know you don't do them very often at the races <laughs> it's kind of rare for andrew uh, but for me in our last race that we did in lubbock um I remember doing. How many burpees you do? I don't know. I did a few. A few. <laughs> I, it, didn't, it wasn't that bad, but yeah. yeah. But regardless, yeah. doing burpees when you're doing a race that's 30 miles. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even to it, it takes, even it to takes really toll. suck. It takes a toll on. <laughs> well, especially if, like, because we did so the ultra race last year, which is twice the distance of a B, so it's a 50k, 60 plus obstacles. Mm-hmm. Um, so we were out on the course for crazy nine hours. ten plus hours so we're under that steady state for a long period of time yeah and the rules are still the same if you fail any given obstacle you still have to do 30 burpees before you can continue on so especially when you're taxed especially when you're exhausted mm-hmm. and you got to go do 30 burpees you know it's like how 
how disciplined can you be to stay at a steady pace, to stay consistent, to not completely, not in. yeah, not completely fall off the wheels or not let your mental capacity start to wane. Um, you know, it's, it's being, you know, uh, and then, you know, races like that are a big, you know, they're, they're mentally draining. There's no doubt about it. Mm-hmm. So kind of like Corona quarantine time, <laughs> they're mentally draining too. Yep. But yep. these races prepare us mm-hmm. for these kind of times. Yeah. You know, we, we don't know what's going to happen day to day. We don't know if we're going to fell an obstacle at a race. Mm-hmm. There were, I think I had one where I was like, I would never think I would fell that. Uh, yeah, obstacle. That, that happens. And then something that happens, happens. to the best of us. Unknown, so. unknown happens. Sometimes you even have to do burpees and you go down and your hands go in briars, you know, in <laughs> sticker patches. Yeah. Like why they put the burpee thing <laughs> where the stickers were i'll never know but i come up and i'm like pulling stickers out of my hands so, so funny. sometimes yeah. things suck but we get through it yeah we made it through that day yeah you know but yeah and it's like and especially in that mental aspect like if you were to like if you were to fail an obstacle that you normally don't like what's going to be your attitude is it going to like are you going to like, oh, this sucks, you know, oh, this is terrible, oh, and like, and it kind of just ruins the rest of your momentum for the race, or is it, okay, this happened, I gotta go do my burpees, but there's still a lot of race left. Mm -hmm. So, like, how we approach things mentally can also dictate, like, how we feel about the outcomes towards whatever, you know, whatever we're facing. Yep, So you gotta take each moment as it comes and not Look at the whole, whole right. big picture. Right. Don't think about, man, I have 27 more miles left. <laughs> you know, you uh, can't think it like that. You, yep. It just throws you, you off. Got, you just got to focus so, on the next task that's in front of you. Yeah. Whether, whether it's a, whether it's a 5k race, whether it's a 10k race, whether it's a 50k race, mm-hmm. you know, the, you know, the objective is still the same, you know, cause you still have. You know, even even in a short shorter sprint distance race, you still have twenty plus obstacles that mm-hmm. that you got to go through. And if you're already thinking with the end in mind, without focusing on what's right in front of you, and you make a mistake, or you take it for granted, and something unfortunate happens, like what's going to be your attitude about it? Mm-hmm. Totally. I think that's a good place to finish today. Okay. Um, we did have one other thing we were going to bring up. Today's the last day. Oh. If you um, kept your membership at CrossFit Preferred through this last closure we had, mm-hmm. um, Spartan is rewarding those that did that um, by giving them a free race. And today's the last day for that. Yeah. Um, we could put a link to that in, in the post today, in the comments sure. or somewhere sure. in the post. Um, so we'll we'll get that out there, but take take advantage of that and uh, get that free race. There's a lot of fun races coming up. There's also more coming up in November. 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 There's like four or five races between now and December. Yeah. Um, so as it, long as California. Yeah. As long as, long, as long as nothing changes, as long as the races go as they are planned to go right now. Mm-hmm. Um, we didn't. We didn't mention the one that's in uh, Laughlin, Nevada. Laughlin, yeah. So that's November only. Fourteenth. Yeah. So that's that's only a what three and a half four hour drive from here. So that might be a an, an option for people that are looking to complete their trifecta, um, you know, and still not have to travel too far for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can always wait until Spartan Race comes back to Arizona, and in uh, in February. So yeah. it's never it's never too early to start preparing for that race mm-hmm. either so they're a lot of fun and it gives your training a, a really good purpose yeah to be able to do that yeah so absolutely we have spartan training on monday nights at seven wednesday night at seven thursday morning we have track workouts mm-hmm. they're for our, our crossfit group and for our spartan, our spartan group, group. anybody is welcome yep to come and then seven o'clock at night we have another training um another endurance based class very endurance based and mm-hmm. um It'll probably look more like running this week, uh, I would imagine. <laughs> probably. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure that we'll, out. We'll, yeah. We're coming up with the plan on everything right now. Yeah. And um, we then will. we also have a class on Saturday morning Saturday. at 6.45. Saturday morning, 6.45. And maybe earlier now that we're outside. But we'll figure we'll, that we'll, out. We'll keep you posted. Yep. 
So we appreciate you guys. We'll make it through this time. Definitely. Um, Definitely. The best thing we can do is just keep our mind right. And I think one of the best ways to do that is to do a really hard workout every day. Do something that pushes you out of your comfort zone. And it'll keep pushing you and helping you physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. so, that's it. Anything else you want to add? Well, let's keep getting after it. Yep. We're going we're gonna to get through this. And, I mean, who knows? We could be back in here sooner than we think. Mm -hmm. But if not, you know, it's not going to stop us from, you know, pushing towards whatever goal that you have in front of you, whether you're trying to achieve something this week or you're trying to prepare for something a few months away. Yep. Awesome. Thanks a lot. All Thanks right. for being on here. Oh, definitely. For sure. We'll see you guys later. We'll see ya.